So before starting with the video, I just want to say that I don't usually do this kind of format in my videos. That is because I suck at talking and English isn't my first language. So I apologize if the quality is pretty bad. And another thing is that I won't be using any 5 star characters and weapons. That is because I want it to be more achievable by everyone. And I also won't be using any food and potion buffs since there are a few people that complain whenever I use food and potion buffs. Second is I won't be showing any Floor 7 Spiral Abyss footage. That is because I've seen a lot of videos in YouTube that only shows Floor 7 Abyss footage and saying that you can also do that kind of damage when you need to spend thousands of dollars. And you can also only do it in Floor 7 Spiral Abyss which is kind of pointless. I will try to explain everything from the very basics so that you will be able to understand what the fuck is happening in this game. And finally, since the focus of the video is making Shangling as your main DPS, we want to lower the investment cost on the other characters that will be her supports. Because of how limited the resources are in this game and the resin takes way too long to regenerate and with that out of the way, let's get started. The first weapon that I recommend is the Prototype Star Glitter. It has energy recharge and it helps Shang Lin compensate for her weakness and that is her elemental burst takes way too long to recharge compared to other characters and you want to use your elemental burst more often since it's going to be your main source of damage. The second weapon that I recommend is the Favonius Lance. It's pretty much just a gacha version of the prototype Star Glitter but better because it will give you 6 energy whenever you crit and we want Shang Lin to get those energy. At Refined 5, it only has a 6 second cooldown, so if you have Refines on this weapon, then good for you. Another weapon that you can use is the Deathmatch. Sadly, it is locked behind the Battle Pass, and the effect isn't really that great, but it's still good. It's just that you won't be able to maximize the effect when you're having an orgy fighting two or more enemies. And it does have a crit rate, so you can focus on getting more crit damage on your artifacts. So it's still a pretty good weapon for Shang Ling. If you somehow have a lot of star glitter, then the Blacklift Pole is a good weapon and it's pretty much the opposite of deathmatch. It has crit damage instead of crit rate, so you will need crit rate on your artifacts. And the effect is really good when you're fighting a lot of enemies, but if you're not, then it's pretty much useless. So that's it for the weapons, now let's move on to the artifacts. For the main stats of your artifacts, I recommend going for attack percent or energy recharge. You're probably going to get defense percent anyway. And for the goblet, of course, it's going to be par damage bonus since your main damage would be your elemental skill and elemental burst. And for the circlet, it depends on what stat you're currently lacking. If you lack in crit rate, then going for a crit rate main stat that has a substat of crit damage is better. Now for the artifact sets, I personally prefer going for 2 set Noblesse of Bleach and a 2 set Crimson Witch to maximize my Pyro and Elemental Burst damage. Another build that you can use is a 4 set Lava Walker. It increases all of your damage by 35% as long as the enemy is inflicted by Pyro which is not really a problem with Shang Ling. Now there are only a few enemies that you can't really inflict pyro on like the condom mages and slimes but aside from that it is a really good set the last build that you can also use is the forset crimson witch it's just that the forset effect has a little bit of a problem on her but it's not that horrible to the point that it is not viable the forset effect only increases your elemental reaction damage so if you're not consistently triggering elemental reaction on shang Ling, then the effect would be kinda wasted. Now when you use your elemental skill, it increases the 2 set effect by 50% which is 7.5 pyro damage bonus. The problem is, it only lasts for 10 seconds and Shang Ling's elemental skill has a cooldown of 12 seconds so you can't really stack them. For the second member of your team, you want to pair Shang Ling with an animal character. Right now, we only have Sucrose for the 4 star animal character. And we also have the avatar called Traveler. And you want to put a 4 set very decent venerator on them. It doesn't matter what the stats are unless you're trying to build the character. For Sucrose, you can also get the Trailing Tales of the Dragon Slayers, which is a 3 star catalyst that you can get from the chest or gacha. At Refined 5, it will boost the attack of the character after Sucrose by 48% for 10 seconds. If 
if you're using Animal Traveler, then I recommend getting Constellation 6 as soon as you can. And the third character is going to be Bennett. Most of you already know that he is a really good support because of his elemental burst that can heal and buff your team's damage. If you don't have any constellations on Bennett, it is fine. He is a really good support even without constellations. And for the artifact, you want to get a 4 set Noblesse of Leash to increase the attack of your team by 20%. And for the weapon, you want to use your highest base attack weapon. Ideally, it has energy recharge on it. So you will be able to spam your elemental burst. For the last member of your team, it all depends on what character you have and what elemental reaction you prefer. You can go for Melt, Overloaded, or Vaporize. But first, I am going to show you the Vaporize setup. Barbara is a reliable option because her elemental skill, together with her normal attacks, can actually apply Hydro fast enough for Shangling to trigger the elemental reaction. So the Vaporize will scale from Shangling stats, and you can also get Barbara for free. Another option that you can use is Xing Xiu, because of his elemental burst together with Shangling's fast normal attacks makes him really good for Vaporize setup on Shangling, and he also has the ability to heal your team. Now for Melt, it doesn't really work that well since the 4-star Cryo characters are way too slow in applying Cryo. Even Guoba is faster than Kaya's Icicles. Because there are no 4-star Cryo characters that can apply Cryo fast, Melt is not viable on a main DPS Shangling. I also tried Chongyun which works surprisingly well with Shangling's elemental skill but when you use your elemental burst it doesn't really work because there's an animation time where you can't really use your normal attacks to inflict cryo before your pyronado hits so it only works with the elemental skill. And finally we have the overloaded setup. I honestly don't recommend going for this unless they buff it since it only scales from the character's level and elemental mastery and it also can't crit compared to the Vaporize and Melt that can crit. I tried it with Fischl and Lisa and as you can see it is very inconsistent. Sometimes Fischl would trigger the elemental reaction and sometimes Shangling would trigger the overloaded. So I only recommend going for this if you have an electro character leveled up so that if they trigger the elemental reaction there's not much of a difference when Shangling triggers it or the electro character triggers it. And that is it for this video. I hope I managed to help some of you in building Shangling without stealing your mom's credit card. I apologize for the audio quality. I'm pretty horrible at talking and I only have a $20 USB microphone. But it's probably just my voice. With that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day and see you whenever I feel like making a new video.